everyone, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you um, a couple of recent orders that I have received um, from Troll Beats Partridge Creek. Uh, that's what you see over here on the left. And then uh, Troll Beats South Hill. Um, this was completely impulse but uh, that is what you see here on the right. And then kind of um, off to the side, I do have um, some very uh, special beads that I had purchased with the help of a um, troll fairy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the, the purchases from um, that you see here in front of you. So this is um, how my order came packaged from Troll Beats Partridge Creek. It's in this little cellophane bag. As you can see, they've got the um, box itself wrapped in tissue paper with ribbon. Um, I have a few candies in there and then um, a handwritten, you know, thank you card. I'm gonna get everything out of uh, the cellophane because that's going to get a little noisy here. So let me go ahead and do that. I always enjoy um, beautiful packaging because even though I'm buying, uh, you know, treating myself um, and I know exactly what is inside this box, I always appreciate um, pretty packaging because we all still love having um, special treats. And so I really do appreciate it when uh, the stores really go the extra mile and wrap things so beautifully for us. So um, both Partridge Creek and South Hill were doing um, specials, I want to say from like the 14th through like the 17th. Um, it was kind of Christmas in July is what they were calling it. And they had um, like some special Christmas unique stock that came in as well as some other special uniques. Um, and then, you know, I think you were, like if you bought a special unique, you were also required to buy um, like a regular unique. So that is kind of what I did here. And I have, uh, a raccoon but I have more of a pink raccoon and this sweet little grayish raccoon just really um, spoke to me so um, and then this beautiful unique here I just fell in love with so let me get everything off the ribbon so I can show you one by one so here we have uh, the little raccoon uh, armadillo unique that I purchased and I would say he is on uh, kind of a cream, uh, creamy white base. Um, kind of maybe has a little bit of gray undertone, but I just thought his little face was so adorable. And who can resist a raccoon? Like I get raccoons at my house and sometimes I even have uh, little raccoon families and those little babies are just so adorable so I do like uh, the little raccoon uniques I was really hoping um, that they would have some of the the ladybird um, uniques so I could finally get one of those but alas they did not so I did treat myself to this sweet little raccoon and then the regular unique um, that I treated myself to is this beautiful pink and green unique that you see right here. It has this bright green base with this almost like a, I don't know what you'd call it, like a little pink, like a lily or I don't know, it's a three petal flower. It could well, I know it's not a tulip unique, like what Troll Beats calls a tulip unique, but I just thought this was so pretty with the pink, and then it has little pops of like an orangish yellow and white 
and then some of that beautiful um, glitter that runs throughout. And I have um, another unique, let me grab it real quick. All right, so here is the unique I just purchased. And I did purchase this unique right here, this pink one, a um, few months back. And while the green is not like an exact match, I still think these are gonna look beautiful together on a bracelet. I think it'll look really nice also with like this magic uh, bean, I believe that's what it's called. But yeah, I, I just have a thing for beautiful greens. Um, I am finding I have quite a bit of green uh, in my Troll Beads collection, even though my favorite color is purple. So um, I have been definitely treating myself uh, to a lot of beautiful greens. So that is my order from Troll Beads Partridge Creek. Now let me get into this bag here. And this is from Troll Beats South Hill. And I love how they have everything kind of held together with a little sticker that they hand wrote thank you on. Well, I'm just gonna kind of unwrap this. And we have it all wrapped up in Troll Beats tissue paper. Ooh, I got um, another little ribbon wrapped Troll Beats box. Um, another written thank you card and uh, a lovely um, like a gummy or jelly type candy and these are my absolute type of favorite candy. I'm a huge uh, like gummy bear um, gummy candy lover. So thank you for that. Let me show you what is in this wonderful box here. And I saw um, Troll Beats Partridge Creek actually had posted a bangle design using um, this similar unique right here. And I um, did not reach out to them fast enough to um, secure it for myself. Someone else uh, purchased it. So um, I was perusing uh, Troll Beats South Hill um, on their Facebook site and they had posted a whole bunch of uniques and this beauty happened to be in there. And so I reached out, I asked if they still had it available. Um, they said yes. And um, you know, what's a girl to do? She, you can't just buy one bead. So I asked if they could show me a couple other, you know, uniques that would coordinate beautifully with it. And um, they actually showed me um, a lineup where it had two of these and then like one of these purple uniques and then like another completely different purple unique kind of flanking. So it had this bead in the center, a purple unique, purple unique, and then the outer was this unique and another one. Um, I, you know, in a way I kind of regret not getting the whole thing, but. <laughs> Uh, what's a girl to do? She's got a budget. So I did get um, these two because I just fell in love with it. And then I had completely forgotten that, you know, there's still that special going on with uh, Troll Beads itself where if you spend $150, you get a free ornament bead. So um, I did get uh, this little ornament here. So let me get everything off the ribbon. Um, so I can show you more in detail. All right, so here is uh, the unique that started my entire purchase with uh, Troll Beats South Hill. And as you can see, it is on this just gorgeous, um, like a yellow orange base. And then this has a um, butterfly that's kind of done in a dusty purple. Um, and then it's outlined in this burgundy. And I believe that this is called, like this is a butterfly unique. And that's, um, you know, what attracted me to it. So we have one, two, three 
is it four? Let's see, I'm trying to hold my finger on one. So we have one, two, yeah, this has four butterflies on it. Um, just kind of tracing around the bead. And when I asked, you know, hey, could you show me some other uniques that would pair well with it? Um, look how this has that similar purple along with that burgundy outline and then just a very, just slightly deeper um, orangish yellow. So I just think that is absolutely gorgeous together. And then um, this unique here is just kind of picking up on that dusty purple. And I just think this unique right here is just beautiful. Like it has these ribbons um, running vertically and then it seems to have a ribbon um, zigzagging across the bee too, like underneath those vertical ribbons. So there's a lot of movement um, in this particular unique. So I just thought, oh gosh, you know, these are just gonna look so beautiful together. And, you know, like I have like this uh, twinkle bead, I think even this twinkle bead from, what was it, that surprise twinkle collection last summer, last fall, I think that would look beautiful with it. Like this little bee unique I have, I think will look beautiful with it. Um, the orange pod, uh, what, this is honey bee, this is orange steel. Um, I think all of these are gonna look wonderful uh, with this particular unique so I'm gonna really have a lot of fun with this one I think so that is everything that I purchased like that was my actual purchase and then um, there was a free tassel and I believe she only had red uh, like tassel ornaments left and so I thought this one was really kind of pretty. Um, it's got a lot of white on it. Like red is probably one of the smallest colors in my Troll Beats box. So I'm, you know, a little uncomfortable with red, but um, I do have some beautiful uh, greens. You know, red and green is beautiful Christmas colors. I do have like a, like a holly uh, unique that I think this will look beautiful with. So I'm gonna look forward to playing with this one um, around Christmas. So that is my red ornament tassel. And now I'm gonna share with you um, some of the troll beads that a very lovely bead fairy um, helped me purchase. Um, I am gonna reach out to her and you know find out for sure if uh, you know, she would let me share um, her name in my post description because um, I don't want to, you know, have people inundate her with uh, requests. But um, this is the new uh, 2023 Troll Beads event bead. And seeing as how I'm not going to be able to attend any Troll Beads events in person, and so far from what I can tell, um, at no US store has received this particular event bead yet. I, you know, just wanted to make sure that I received it. And this one is a beautiful um, Tiffany blue. Uh, these event beads um, have very different faceting than your normal um, faceted bead. Like for instance, I'm just gonna bring the Troll Beads Day beads here in front. And as you can see, like just from the light hitting it, these have diamond shaped facets. The um, event beads um, have at least the ones that the ones that I have so far, I have a pink one, I have a black and white one. I want to say I have one more, but I'm forgetting what the color is now. Um, but this, the, the event beads have this same striped pattern where you have uh, like the color 
and then you have the black stripe that is outlined with the glitter. But these event beads have the uh, rectangular faceting, so it does have this other different faceted cut. And this Tiffany blue is just such a soft, pretty blue. Um, I just didn't want to run the risk of not having one. And who knows if, uh, you know, Troll Beats, Partridge Creek, uh, if they wind up having uh, an event, you know, hopefully I can attend virtually and maybe get a second one of these. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but this is the 2023 event bead. I'm not sure if it has a specific name. If so, I will kind of post it down here as always. But that is this year's event bead. Now, my Troll Fairy also helped me purchase this uh, beautiful faceted unique. And this um, is just a, a faceted unique. Uh, it doesn't have, I think, a specific name or design. Um, I don't know if it, you'd call this a flame design. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the um, birthday beads a little bit as far as the design goes. But what really attracted me to this is, you know, those soft lilac uh, lavender uh, tones. And then it does have that beautiful uh, ribbon of almost kind of like a, a peachy color running through. And so uh, when she showed me some of the different faceted uniques that were available, my eye was just immediately drawn to this one because again you know how I love my purple so this is just a faceted unique now the next few beads I really splurged on um, I have a thing for the troll beads beads that have the cubic zirconia uh, in them like when uh, troll beads released uh, what the special twinkle um, set like surprise collection last year and then the year before I think they called it like the sparkle like I was all over those but um, Troll Beats also has some different country exclusives and you know I've been lucky enough to get uh, the Germany one I do have the USA Canada and I think that's it until now. Um, so my troll fairy was able to help me purchase the crocodile uh, diamond, which is from Australia. And you know, it's that beautiful green and look how beautiful it's gonna pair with my new unique that I purchased. Like I love this kind of green. So I am just like beyond thrilled. Like I actually, um, with my troll fairy, like I guess she has a friend of hers that is a collector and I'm sure, you know, the collector, she buys, you know, several of these and, you know, she does probably sell some of them. But what attracted me um, with my fairy is, you know, while I did pay a decent price, I paid nowhere near the prices that I've seen, you know, these beads going for um, elsewhere. So I actually feel I got uh, like this uh, crocodile bead, um, very reasonably priced compared to what I've seen it sell for. So this is the Australia crocodile bead. Here we have the um, China peach bead, um, and this one just has that soft peach color. And it almost has like a yellow, like a light yellow or amber overlay. Like this is just such a gorgeous bead. Like you can see that the glass itself is not like clear white it kind of has a golden color to it and then that magic is at the 
base of the bead as far as that soft peach color. So this is the peach diamond from China. Like never in my wildest dreams did I think I could own a few of these. All right, so being true to my purple loving nature, I could not pass up um, the Troll Bead Purple Diamond. Uh, this is um, the country diamond for Japan. And it has that uh, dusty purple uh, base. In fact, look at what and how it looks next to this particular unique. It's just got that gorgeous purple color. I think it'll go well with many beads in my collection, like the plum tree, which was that one Troll Bead Stay bead. So this is, um, here we have it from the side. So you can again see all the purple is at the base. It's just gorgeous. So that is again the purple diamond, which is uh, for Japan. Ooh, and you know what? While I'm thinking about it, how well does this pair? Does it pair well? Eh, slightly different purple than the unique, but what about with this particular bead here? That uh, kind of brings out the darker purple like in those flame points. So very, very pretty. And the last uh, country exclusive diamond bead that I treated myself to uh, is this one here. And uh, this is, I believe, also just called a purple diamond bead. But this one is, um, I believe it was the first one. Uh, it was Italy's um, exclusive diamond bead. And it is slightly deeper in tone. Like you can definitely see the difference between the two. So this one I think has more of a, um, like a blue base, whereas this one has more of a red violet base that makes sense. But this is the um, purple diamond bead, uh, which was the Italy exclusive. So that is everything. In fact, let me get everything together on a rod. So here we have uh, my collective uh, purchase, uh, three different purchases. Uh, one with the help of a lovely bead fairy. So let me know uh, what you think guys. Uh, anything stand out to you as a favorite? Let me know. Um, do you collect the country beads? Uh, which ones are, are the ones that are your favorite? So uh, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And as always, I love reading your comments. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Take care, stay safe, and I will catch you in the next one.